Hey what's going on guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm in Tanyapura Phuket in this tennis court right here with my good friend Chris and also Sean who's gonna help me film behind the scenes for today. So in this video I'm gonna show you guys sort of uh, my approach on how I take action sports videos. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, I'm right here with the Lumix S5 with my 24-105 f4.0 lens all Lumix setup and then I got here uh, the DJI RS2 gimbal with a carbon fiber extension pole so for me this is a pretty solid setup if I want to go FPV or different type of jeep shots where I can move the camera really high up so this is sort of my setup for today and the first shot we're gonna do right now is basically uh, an established shot of the location to show the tennis court right here so let's get started with that for this first shot, I'm going to replicate the jeep or crane shot using my gimbal. In order to do that, I'm going to start with my camera closer to the ground and gradually go higher as I walk forward. This is a great way to introduce the player and the location with just one simple wide shot. And here is what the final footage looks like. So for this next shot, I'm gonna do a profile shot of Chris hitting the the, the tennis ball and uh, I'm gonna do it from the right side to reveal more of his swinging action because he's a right-handed so for this mode I'm gonna go pen follow mode on the gimbal so I'm gonna track him from sideways and if I need to because it's a fast moving shot he's, he's moving around a lot so uh, being able to pen follow is a really good way to approach for this kind of shot so that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna move around slowly go around him get some profile shots of him swinging the, the, the racket starting from here real slow real gentle and as you, as you move around with the gimbal try and keep him centered as much as possible that way you're not moving spontaneously and the, the shot doesn't look like totally unplanned and here is a few profile shots that I was able to get. I also increased my focal length to get a closer shot of Chris and changed my gimbal setting from pen follow to FPV to show more of his moving actions. For me, FPV shots are a great addition if I want to show more of the tension and fast moving actions in my video. For this shot, I'm gonna get an over shoulder shot to see the opponent on the other side of the tennis court. As you can see, he's moving around a lot, so it's a little struggle to keep it in the frame, but I'll try my best. Since our subject is moving a lot in the frame, I'm basically going to move around the subject from behind while trying to keep him centered, hoping that I'll be able to get a few good seconds of the over shoulder shot during the whole scene. Over the shoulder shot is a really great addition if you want to show the interaction between the two subjects. Alright guys, so I'm reviewing my shots right now. As these guys are moving in the shot really fast, it was, it was hard for me to tr try and keep them centered all the time. So what I'm doing right now is basically going through the footages that I have. And since our shoot is mostly improvised, all improvised basically, so I'm trying to make sure that I have a good amount of footage that I can go back and edit a montage out of this. So I think we're pretty much done with the gimbal shots. Right now I'm gonna go handheld. I'm gonna take it off real easy. And I'm just gonna go handheld can change the focal length as I need and I think it's gonna be much easier for action shots like this since I can move way faster without having to rely on the gimbal so let's see how it looks okay count three one two three go in this shot I'm going to shoot handheld to show some of the intense actions I basically move around Chris to get a few close-up shots of him taking steps swinging his rackets and etc Ideally, I like to use a 50mm or 85mm focal length to film close-up shot which is a great way to create an immersive experience to the viewers which allows them to feel more closer to the character and the action in the shot. Nice! In this tracking shot, I'm basically tracking the movement of the tennis ball. Again, this shot is just to show the interaction between two players in a different perspective. While I'm filming improvised, I like to take a few extra shots with different angles just to make sure that I have a good amount of footage that I can choose from during my post-production. 
Last but not least, here is a few close-up shot of Chris focusing on the game. My goal is to capture some of the close-up, a few element shots of Chris's face, his sweat dripping off in slow motion, shoes, footsteps, and the racket. Alright guys, so after about an hour, we're finally done with the shoot. Right now, I'm gonna show you a quick montage of what I shot throughout this set right here. So, check it out. Alright guys, that's a wrap pretty much. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you do, please go ahead and hit the like. If you guys have any comment, leave it down below and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I'm trying to get to 10k by end of this year, so it'll be a great support if you guys can go ahead and subscribe. And with that said, keep radiating the positivity and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.